Kansas City. Today, two AFC teams set to do battle as we've got a good one in store. Baltimore Ravens led by Joe Flacco, whose right arm got a lot of action in week five, 30 of 46. 210 yards and a touchdown pass. But the offense, they're going to hear about it. No one plays the wide receiver position angrier or better than Steve Smith Sr. And a glance now at the Chiefs defense. Don Terry Poe emerged on the scene fast as a young player and continues to make big plays at defensive tackle. Throwing here on first down, Flacco. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Four-time Pro Bowler Derek Johnson in there to bring him down for a loss of seven. That defensive coordinator perfectly in sync, dials up a blitz. And the man in the middle, he's the one who gets home. Big Mike. Big Mike. Third down, Flacco needs a decent chunk of yardage. And there's another completion to the tight end. And let's face it, it is hard to overthrow a six foot six inch target. <laughs> it is indeed. Quarterbacks like their speed guys. They like that huge six six target that they've got in him. They really have a dozen plays though. Work with me on this one. You know what I'm about to say, right? Bend but don't break. That's what came into play here for the defense. 12 plays were run at them. They only gave up three points. In a lot of ways, that's a win for the defense. Niall Davis off to the races. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Niall Davis, 94 yards. And the Chiefs are going to take. So they gave up the field goal, but boom, they get it right back. Don't even worry about getting their offense on the field. They return it on the kickoff. So I see your three points. And raise you. And raise you six. <laughs> Double it up, coming right back at them. And if that's going to be the trade all game long, Someone's going to push defense. Now we'll see if they try that again. Yeah, I think what we find on plays like that, when you take that shot, if you're unsuccessful, then you go way more conservative to finish the half, you know? I think that's the way they'll go. It's always tough trying to keep your guy upright when he's trying to throw the football. Third down, Flacco from the gun. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. The five-time Pro Bowler, Tom Mahali, in there to get him for a loss of nine. And that'll lead to fourth down. And there they bring pressure from the inside and they get home. Yeah, hard to block everyone, isn't it? And on this play, <laughs> someone did not get blocked. He's the one who got home. And the drive begins with a handoff to Rams. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Final. Let it go, move on, and start over again. They go pass again with Flacco. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. They bring the safety on the blitz, and he busts through the blitz called on the play. Had other responsibilities, but he saw an opportunity, saw a path, and he took it. Here's Flacco. This time for Smith, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the free safety, Eric Berry. And his guys will take over at their own 44-yard line. So it's third and long, and you know it's back and just blanking the field. And this is an ill-advised throw right here as it winds up being picked off easily. Goal try. This is a 40-yard attempt from the left half. And Santos able. And Tucker's kick right there. It's good. Smith going to turn and give to Charles. And he's brought dead. Not much space to run the football. And as we go into the half, we often think to ourselves, all right, what's the adjustment? What do they have to do? Smith on first down. Looking deep here for Macklin. And this is caught inside the five. A big play there. Smith to Macklin. 45 yards. A maker there, didn't they? A big shot towards the end zone, and they came up with the catch, but they were tackled short of the goal line. The defense escaped the big one there. Now they've got to try and hold them to a field goal attempt. A break from the ground game here. Flacco. 
He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by the free safety, Eric Berry. And his guys will take over at the 25-yard line. I'll tell you, Brandon, it seems like this guy's been all over the field so far. That's his second interception of the game. And so much of playing defense in the NFL, especially when it comes to defending the pass, is all about positioning and technique. And this is fantastic work on both fronts. It didn't pay off for him. And that's got to be so heartbreaking. You throw that flag, you probably feel really... Jeremy Macklin, the 30. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Jeremy Macklin, 74 yards. And on that one, able to catch it, also able to have the wherewithal to take it in for the score. And how about the phases of a successful catch in a completion of a play? Look the ball in, secure the catch, and then, of course, the run after the catch that ends up in the end zone. Have to score quickly, and they're going to need some big-time plays, chunk plays. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off by the free safety, Eric Berry. And they'll start out with great field position at the 47-yard line in enemy territory. And that gives him now... Fun's locked into what they're trying to get done in the passing game. When was the last time we had someone get three in a, in a contest? 2011, wasn't it? Kurt Coleman. Oh, yeah, that's then right. Then with the Eagles. That's right. Then against the, with the Eagles, and I believe it was against Washington and Rex Grossman. That's correct.